Hello viewers, today I'll be showing you all, all the materials used for making this jet turbine. I will start by going from the main shaft and ending to the last component that was created. So the main shaft, it's uh, very easy to not very easy but it can be easily made by using the lamp machine so this part doesn't really require 5 axis CNC now the next and this uh, material for this is Okay. steel so this is made of a plain steel it could be a steel alloy or it could be stainless steel then the next part is the next component is the bearings which is uh, going to be sourced from outside a seller, external seller, or manufacturer, it's not going to be manufactured in shop. And after that is the shaft distances, these can be made for, uh, with any lath or any it's basic. So these are made of steel, so the same material that the main shaft is made with, and then is this shaft house. This is used to protect it from any chemical or any other reaction and keep it safe from the heat. So mainly it's keeping both the bearings safe and it's also keeping the main shaft cooler. So this shaft house is made with steel, same as before, it's stainless steel or steel alloy. Then the compressor diffuser which is most probably going to be needed to be made with a 4 or 5 axis CNC so and the material from which it is made is steel so it is the same say in the steel or steel the next part is the next component is a inlet This is like the input nozzle, so the compressor touches this inlet very closely and creates the pressure inside. So this is going to be the inlet valve and after that is the compressor. So I will just hide the inlet and show the compressor. So the compressor will be made using a 5 axis CNC. and the material it will be made from is steel so that can be steel or stainless steel the next thing which is the inlet valve can be made from aluminium or it can also be made from steel after that is the turbine wheel which is the load so this uh, so the compressor here is a radial compressor wherein the air moves inside and is pushed Towards the out, so it's a centrifugal impeller, a centrifugal compressor. Then the behind the turbine part of it, the load is an axial one. Air moves on, hits this, and it turns the turbine. So the turbine wheel is made of something that can withstand a hot temperature, steel, stainless steel. Then we have the NGV holder, so the nozzle guide vanes. This is made of steel again because it's in hot area. Stainless steel to be clear. 
then we go to the ngv system so that ngv holder holds the ngv system which is here so if i just hide the turbine wheel you see the ngv system so the ngv system is made of steel alloy so this is unlike the normal steel this is made of an alloy so that is for higher temperatures and even to withstand mechanical strain the next thing is the combustion chamber the combustion chamber will be made of pieces and slices that will be welded together using mig or tig so this is also made of a steel alloy so like if you if we have a flat piece of rectangle flat piece this part will be made with that till here then this will be made with another flat piece and then these will be two rings this one and the one which is on the behind and the, after that the one that is on the inside so first i will just break that down into its components i'll hide the outer combustion chamber and show you inside it has a pipes these tubes are used to move the fuel into the combustion chamber and then is the combustion chamber so if you see inside here the combustion chamber has the outside part and it has the inside part so the inside part will be another flat rectangular piece which will be welded to the down inside which is here see here, it's going inside from here then the next part is the fuel injector ring this will also be tubes which are made of brass or maybe even copper so this is re relatively cool so we can use the same things that are used in uh, acs or cooling elements so the Thing that was used was brass, and then these are also MIG welded to each other, and this is the plug through which the fuel will come in. The next part is the engine casing, which can be made of normal steel. So just to be clear about that, it is made of stainless steel because of the mechanical strength. then is the diffuser cone so the diffuser cone is mainly made to direct the heat and hot air outside so the diffuser cone here is made of made of steel alloy so the for the mechanical strength so most of things are made of a steel alloy then are the screws which can be bought from outside the same screws and there are also the shaft nuts which will one be put here and one will be put on the side of the turbine so that makes the entire design now as you might have noticed there were two nuts which on are put so i will put them now in the video so the nuts are behind the turbine wheel so i'll remove the turbine wheel from there and it is the same type of nut like this one uh, sorry it's the same type of screw so we'll copy one of these screws Then we will take this one. This one. And 
we will put it inside this so it's a very simple thing we just click on join click on the part of this that is going to join inside the meaning part of the screen then i turn back to that place where the screw is going to go in So we have to do the same thing for another three screws. So I'll do that copy. lots of components there you can only make that out after we you finish the entire design okay the lot view is easier to select that so we have to select this part which is going to touch and then we have to select the part of it that it's going to touch Just to be, just to show you that again. So after doing this, I connect everything back how it's supposed to be connected. And put a turbine wheel, and we're done. So um, I don't want to make this video too long, but there are a few things that I need to uh, go in detail with. So firstly, there are many parts here that require 5-axis CNC. So most probably, I need a 5-axis CNC for this. So if there are any manufacturers in India, or any of you who are watching the video are manufacturers, kindly uh, write in the comments or email me inside. My email is in the description box. So I can contact you all and we can uh, work something out. Now secondly, to reduce on manufacturing costs and waste material, I am going to uh, find help from people or rather CFD sign uh, engineers. So if any of you all know any CFD engineers or are yourselves experienced in CFD, please uh, put that in the comments or email me rather. You can also find me on LinkedIn so that we can discuss about the CFD analysis and the simulation and then go about it. So mainly I just want to simulate the combustion process. I want to simulate the part where the air comes inside the compressor, goes through the 
diffuser vanes comes inside and after the fuel is released through the ring and it mixes with the air that is in that is infused or in compressed through the impeller i want to simulate the process where it has a combustion here and then comes out through the turbine and secondly i want to see if the turbine directly in this way can be self sustainable and work and if not maybe we can future change some parts or other modify them a bit like the compressor or the combustion chamber so that will make the process more efficient and it should then self sustain thank you for watching the video and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and if you haven't liked the video like it if you like it if you don't like it put a comment and tell me the places where i can improvise that's it bye for today